Hi guys, welcome back. So in this lesson I'm going to demonstrate why dynamic control is so important and also give you some tips on how to really use it in your own playing. So what is dynamic control? Well, it is basically just the ability to change the volume of the instrument you are playing. Most likely piano if you're watching this. But changing the volume is normally in direct correlation with the tone. So you're actually changing the tone as well as the volume. And this then allows you to be so much more expressive in your playing and not just sound like a robot. So throughout this lesson I will be using a chord progression in A minor. And soloing over the top to demonstrate examples of what I'm talking about. So if you want to learn these chords yourself, I actually have another lesson teaching exactly what I was just playing there. So I'll put a link to that somewhere. So moving on, I see a lot of beginners really hitting down each note as they play, and this just makes it really unmusical. So this is what I mean. And it's just, it's just not quite right. It's very robotic. But if we actually just play less with more, much more dynamic control and really try to express ourselves through what we are playing, it makes a world of difference. So here, here's what I mean. So hopefully you can hear the difference. I was playing much less that time and the, you know it just sounded more expressive and more musical. So I'll play both examples again, switching halfway through. So yeah, just playing less notes with more expression, I think, is one of the best tips for beginners. So how could you go about practicing this? Well, you can actually practice this whilst playing anything. You just need to be conscious of it and keep in the back of your mind whether or not you're playing like a robot or with expression. If you want to sit down and actually practice dynamic control purely on its own, then I suggest picking something you already know fairly well and play it through and almost exaggerate the highs and the lows of the dynamics. For example, let's take the famous four chord progression in the key of C. I'm just going to play around with these chords and slightly exaggerate the use of dynamic control. So doing this will get you used to playing very quietly and very loudly, enabling you to control the dynamics much more easily. So I really hope this lesson helped you guys out. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up and hit that little red button below if you haven't already. If you have any questions at all, just leave them in the comment box below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.